Hey, Psych2Goers. Being in a relationship could be one of the most fulfilling experiences to have, especially when both partners are committed while also prioritizing their individual needs. However, a relationship that consists of one or both partners using the relationship as a way to validate their own self-worth is considered a codependent relationship, not a healthy one. Codependency can be tricky to identify, especially when you or your partner are so entrenched that it's difficult to tell what is helpful from detrimental. To help you recognize the difference, here are five common signs that you might be in a codependent relationship instead of a healthy one. Number one, no responsibility for personal feelings. While it's inevitable that hurt feelings occur throughout a relationship, how conflicts are resolved can be different across the board depending on how healthy a relationship is. In a healthy relationship, both parties understand and accept that they're responsible for their own feelings and responses to said feelings. Blaming and forcing ultimatums upon the other to change is not a good way to deal with conflicts. You may be in a codependent relationship if either partner requires constant reassurance, validation, or approval from the other. Take it as a sign of codependency if you or your partner are unable to feel self-worth on your own. Number two, unbalanced giving at personal expense. Traits like compassion, patience, and generosity are all surefire signs of an amazing romantic partner. However, it's not uncommon for people who have warm and thoughtful characteristics to unknowingly find themselves in codependent relationships. Partners who continue sacrificing their own needs for the needs of their partner tend to be prideful for living up to their ideals of being a compassionate, patient, and generous partner, while at the same time feeling depleted, dissatisfied with the relationship, and taken for granted by their partner. The need to be constantly prioritizing their partner's needs can be mentally and emotionally toxic. If you or your partner fall into habits of pleasing the other at your own expense, Find ways to communicate with one another to reach solutions that could benefit both sides. You deserve to receive as much as you're willing to give. Number three, boundaries are blurred. Do you find it hard to say no to your partner? Or do you feel responsible for their mental and emotional health at the detriment of your own? If your answer to either of these questions is yes, it's possible that you might be in a codependent relationship. It can be hard to define where your boundary lines are drawn when you bind yourself emotionally to another. A healthy relationship calls for strong boundaries, even if that means saying no to the one you love. While a codependent relationship enables both partners into deeper, unhealthy patterns when neither are willing to stand their ground, though it might be difficult, boundaries have the potential to strengthen a relationship instead of weakening it, as someone with codependency beliefs might assume. Number four, not thinking for oneself. A healthy relationship often creates a blending effect for the individuals involved. It's normal for partners to begin behaving, thinking, and even looking similarly. Even so, this can be a red flag to look out for when it comes to codependent relationships. Notice if you or your partner begin parroting one another's thoughts or perspectives. While it can seem harmless to agree 100% with everything your partner thinks, this pattern can potentially lead towards an eventual harmful belief that someone else will always know better than you. Or worse, that they know what's best for you as an individual. One way to grow out of this behavior is to consider your partner's thoughts against your personal beliefs and perspectives. Try to stay true to yourself. It will add to your level of independence and self-assurance. Number five, losing sense of self. Most dangerously of all, a codependent relationship may cause a loss of sense of self People who fall into codependent relationships often do so without realizing that they're looking for someone to validate their identity. But in their search, they may have sacrificed too much of themselves. To combat this from happening, be sure to prioritize both your needs alongside your partners and never feel that being in a happy and fulfilling relationship requires you to sacrifice your individualism. The difference between sacrifice and compromise is considering yourself to think of and consider the well-being or benefit of oneself while doing the same for another. Maintain connections to those who supported you even before your relationship began. Continue nurturing the hobbies or interests you had before your partner entered your life and find new ones to enjoy together or alone. Do you relate to any of these signs? Not all forms of dependency are negative. While codependent relationships are unhealthy and detrimental, 
it's possible to build a relationship on the principles of interdependence instead. Interdependence calls for both partners to approach the relationship with a balanced sense of self to support one another towards becoming their best selves in both the relationship and individual lives. Did you find this video insightful? If so, don't forget to leave a like and a comment about your own experiences. Share this video with a friend if you think it'll help them too. As usual, all references used are in the description. That's it for now.